Hello everyone, this is Alex Duffin and today's video I'm gonna tell you everything that I learned from Wizarding Wave Close Beta 2 and also if you are gonna enjoy this video and this type of content please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and put on like and follow me on twitch.tv slash Alex Deppen. Now, a small disclaimer that this is a closed beta too, so we don't know if it's gonna be in full release. Most of the thing that I'm gonna show you, and so just put that in mind. Now let's start. The now the first thing is when you destroy something, you get credit. I mean money. If you destroy this, as you can see, you can get stuff. I did not know that. And when I destroy, I get stuff. As you can see, when I destroy stuff, I get some item around the map. Now, the second thing is the chest. The chest give a lot way more reward than Genshin. The advanced supply give 20 strike. The magic supply give 5 asteroid. And so it give around 5 to 30 asteroid depending on the chest of course. So put that in mind. There's some kind of funny puzzle to do. Like time challenging. Now, the time challenge give you around three chests. The the advanced supply that I told you about, standard and standard. Now, uh, the time challenge usually give thirty asteroid. Then. Uh, 20. So this is for the Astroid for one time challenge, which is super good, that I learned is quite impressive. This thing over here give five asteroid. It's like a chest. Now, since my character is dead, one thing I learned is uh, if I go at something like Resonance Nexus, my character will get revived. Ta da! As you can see, of course. One thing I have to tell you is there's domain. With those circles where you do it and you get some reward, that they call it the parallel perception, it's like a dungeon basically. One thing I have to tell you is some of the ma um, some of the exile or uh, human enemy does give as you can see the exile or the enemy human enemy can drop weapon and I can pick them up and if we go check the weapon as this was the weapon as you can see they drop this weapon so yeah the exile does the rope weapon while well, the weapon is not that big of a deal but still better than nothing i guess also one thing i forgot to man mention that i did learn from it is that you can skip story with that button top here done i skipped that 
one thing I have to tell you is about the data bank. The data bank. The more enemy you capture, the more it will ha uh, get higher. And the more you will have a higher chance of getting a rank 5 echo, the more high it is. But as you can see, 20%. Also, one thing is that echoes can give echoes can give shiny echoes, but for now they don't have any purpose. Now, one thing I have to tell you is that in echo you can you can't equip the same character. Uh, I mean, you can, but it won't affect the. The Sonata effect. Let's say I have the board right now, right? Hmm. Okay, we have this one. How about if we go there and go down? As you can see, I'm gonna equip this. Now, you can see that I, I got two. Now, if I do the same thing, it won't count. As you can see, I have two of the same. It won't really count because they are the same. But if i switch to this one instead it will count so having two uh two and two acre of the same won't count so that what i learned from it which is kind of disappointing but hey it is what it is i can understand that one thing also i did learn from wizard and wave is that there is a shop to buy to buy on the on your map if you talk to this lady gun to I want to buy some gift you can see that you can buy four but now it's so down and how do you get that currency is by world exploration so they will have that kind of stuff to buy for. It give I think five. That one of the other thing that I learned from it. Another thing is that there's some m a mini game in the game that will give you reward. Like this guy over here. So this one is the backflip challenge. So I have to. So now, well, yeah, this one is super hard, though. So I'm gonna try my best. Bruh. Now, if you do the mini event, you get reward from it. But this one is too fucking hard. So that one of the saying, there will be some kind of mini event. I don't know how I got this one. Like this one over here. This one have their own challenge. It's an NPC can have challenge. So, so yeah, some will give you some challenge and you get some achievement from it. Teleport over here. This one will tell you about the exploration progress. If you go and you can claim reward to level up, to level up 
that have exploration and get some reward of it. If we go see the reward preview, it give a strike and some material. Well, that one of the things that I learned in the game. Now, one thing is that there is hard challenge and the average consumption of weight blade which is the energy is for uh, is 60 to 40 i kind of want it to be 40 but yeah most of them are cost 60. this one so yeah it does cost 60 to 40. One thing that I learned from the game, the close beta with Dragon Wave CBT2, is that when you run, you don't consume any stamina, which is great. But if you climb, you will consume stamina. So be uh, be aware of that, so you don't fall off and die. One thing that I learned in the beta is you can test your character by clicking C to go to the main menu and you sit down b uh, below the character bar you see like a four square and uh, s that small look, uh, icon of character if you click on that you will enter in the tutorial of the character and you can try it they will teach you how to play her and that what is good about that as we can see That is for the tutorial, some people don't it and doesn't know. Also, when you retry, it won't consume your weight plate or the energy, so you don't have to worry about that. One thing I, I, I learned is that in that shop, you can buy character copy, even event but by doing that you need to get that thing that is called up to glow coral and how you get it is by having a copy of four star character or a weapon this one in another hand as one you pull you will get more of these so put that in mind and you can buy item there and another thing that I have to tell you is each banner have their own wishes. The whip, the event character will have these wishes. The weapon banner, event weapon banner, we have these wishes that are quite different. So you, I wouldn't suggest you to convert your asteroid to the pole because uh, they are two different things, not like in Genshin. And the uh, standard banner character will use that and the weapon banner too. Now, one thing that I have to tell you that I did learn is that in the Gacha system, if you want to get a uh, standard weapon banner, you can select what it's gonna be and you will get 100% guarantee the one that you choose. Example, I want this one, I will get it. You have to click on that small arrow over here. Let's uh, do poll to see. As you can see, you got uh, this. So yeah, that's all for this weapon. Now the character have a 50% of having it and a 50% of losing so you have 50 you have to win the 50 50 to get the character in the in this banner but uh but it's a ad pity so it's not quite a lot as much as genshin so i would assume if there is a sub pity 
it gonna be around 60 70 the the soft pity now i don't know if there is a soft pity so so maybe but most of people have never get it around 60 yes so which is quite a lot now there is the deep of elusive realm which is basically which is basically the simulated universe of Pancastorium. If we go, you get small reward that's basically anything, but I mean, hey. There is that shop where you can buy a sprite. I think this is every month. And you can, you have a skill tree to upgrade your, your battle to, to be able to beat it. So as you can see, it is a simulated universe. If we go, let go with, uh, I can't, I don't think I can go with any of these. Yeah, so let's just go with Harper. You can't select any character. I think it's a, uh, you can talk and it will tell you which one you want to select now. I would probably try Inferno. This is to become an Echo basically, which will be your main damage a lot. And you can select what you want. So I'm going with this. You can refresh of course. Now, the abyss is over here. The Tower of Adversi Adversity is the abyss of Wizarding Way, where you can test your strength by going inside here. Now, there is the shop where you can exchange. You can get power for Echo. And you can get reward in here, which is a hundred. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch and understand everything that is in Close Bet of Wizard and Wave. We will see you next time. But before that, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And put the notification bell on, put a like, tell me what you think in the comment, and follow me on twitch.tv slash We will see you next time. Bye-bye.